Today we're gonna to be going through sauce number two in the five mother sauces, and it is Espanol. I'm Kevin Funk. Join me as I share my love of all things food and passion for the outdoors. On today's episode, Espanol, one of the five mother sauces. So we're gonna start off by taking a quarter cup of butter and putting it in our pan. And we're gonna let that melt. While we wait for that, we're gonna add one onion. I've got a yellow onion here. Use yellow, white, whatever. Now being a darker sauce, if you'd like to brown the butter off, you can do that. Now we're gonna add one carrot. Cut them fairly thin, it cooks faster that way. We're just gonna whisk those around. Now you're gonna cook them over medium high heat. You're gonna cook till the onions are translucent. At which point we are going to add our flour. So while we wait for the onions to cook, we're just gonna add a few peppercorns into our uh, pesamora here. And we're gonna grind up some pepper. Coarse grind is fine. They're gonna get caught in the sieve when we strain this thing out later. Add a dash of salt, give it a stir. All right, so our onions are just about done. Now we're gonna be adding the flour. So when you're making a roux, typically you wanna have uh, equal parts of butter to flour. So we did a quarter cup butter, we're gonna add a quarter cup uh, of flour now. This isn't baking, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're gonna whisk that in. It's gonna thicken up. You don't want it to burn, so keep whisking. It's gonna clump up. And that's gonna thicken your sauce. So now it's exactly where I want it to be. Now we're gonna add four cups of beef stock. So we've made our own here. Got them in a couple mason jars. There's two cups in each. So now we're gonna slowly add this and whisk the whole time. that all whisked right in there. Now, we're gonna turn that to high heat. We're gonna get it to a slight little roll and boil, and then we're gonna turn it down a bit. So I've got that thing cranked. While we wait for it to boil, we're gonna take one bay leaf, throw it in. That's also gonna be strained out. All these chunks are gonna be discarded later. Now you can add one clove of garlic, All right, it looks like we're ready. So now we're gonna add a quarter cup of tomato puree. If you don't have your own, feel free to just buy tomato paste. You're gonna stir that in. I'm gonna roughly chop one stick of celery. All right, so the hard part is basically done. Now this is gonna reduce here. So you're gonna have the roux and a little bit of reduction here to thicken this sauce up. Um, but it's gonna sit on low. I've just started to, it's rolling pretty good. So we're gonna turn this down and we're gonna turn it to low. And we're gonna let it sit there for about 45 minutes, at which point we're gonna strain it off. All right, so our sauce has been simmering for roughly 45 minutes. Uh, it's looking great, it's smelling even better. So now we're gonna strain off the chunks that are in there, right into here, and we should be good to go. And there we have it. This sauce you can make ahead of time. You can let this cool down, and then you can chill it in your fridge and you can use it the next day. Uh, but yeah. There's your dark sauce, a dark stock sauce. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to hit that subscribe button. So many different uses, just get creative with it. But yeah, there's your dark sauce. Dark sauce, stock, stock. Blue for real. A dark stock sauce. Sauce, 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 sauce.